We're at Mike's house. Aqua pros. Wanna check out his tanks? I just took a bunch of B-roll. If you want to see the rest of the footage, go to Aquarium Co-op and Corvus Oskin. He's oh, he's over here. They're they're out of the shot. You could go to his channel too. Aqua pros. I guess you could do that, but don't do it. Let's do this. <laughs> If the Rick came back, I would I would lose it. I'd be so excited. Okay, stop. Before we move on, let's rewind time a little bit. Let me tell you about the Rick. The Rick was a legendary YouTuber from Hawaii that did collaborations with everybody. Not only that, he collects fish from rivers and streams in his backyard. His last video was uploaded three years ago, and since then, he's been MIA from YouTube. That is where I come in. Next month, I will be going out to Hawaii to go film and capture the fish that he captured in his own backyard. I'm looking for any fish that I can net with my two hands. And if I see the Rick out there, you best believe it's gonna be a party. Did someone say party? <laughs> Welcome back everybody, uh, finally back in the fish room. It has been an eventful, eventful uh, road trip and I want to thank everybody that we met on the road trip um, as well as, you know, uh, Corey and Corvus for uh, taking me along with them. I just want to do a quick update on all the tanks and how they've been. Why? Wait a minute. Everyone is doing fine. Valve snare is growing out of control as we all expected, right? I don't know why this side is growing faster than that side, but Everyone's still alive, everyone looks good. Probably missing a few Ember Tetras, but for the most part, they're mostly all there. Prey coxes are doing well, everyone's doing well. I got it uprooted. Friggin' Anubius there. Everything's looking good. Uh, I got a dose and then I got to clean all this algae that's on here. But mostly, mostly good. Um, definitely got to trim back some Valsignaria, but that's for another day. Um, by the time you guys see this, uh, Corey will be on an airplane or already in Peru. So um, good luck out there, buddy. Bring us back something awesome. I'll take care of these tanks while you're gone. Which reminds me, let's, let's turn around and check out that tank behind you. So the Gobi tank. You guys are awesome. Uh, really big bellies, that means they've been eating. Um, something new you guys probably don't see. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, they're up here. I bought fricadas. Um, definitely wanted some rainbows in here, but I didn't want the melanotania, so I got the pseudomugils, pseudomogil, pseudomugil. But I got the fricadas in here. I got about four males, it seems like. Um, really, really beautiful in color. Everyone seems to be getting along. Cherry shrimps are doing absolutely fantastic. Um, got some penny work from the store the other day. Hopefully that doesn't die off. I gotta trim back this pogostemus stellatus. Um, I got some uh, Mayaka here. I think that's how you pronounce it. It was just some extra trimmings from uh, the warehouse tanks uh, just to let me take home, but hopefully I can grow it. Definitely it's not gonna grow just like that. <laughs> I have to put it in the substrate somehow, but oh man, loving this tank so far. Uh, a little bit a little bit grungy right now, but we can clean that up. Um, I got some Anubius right there from Denerle. Uh, Shrimp King had given me Anubius Nana Pan Pangiolino. <laughs> the internet's gonna freaking kill me. So yeah, I got that and I planted it right there. Um, it survived the trip. I just kept it inside the glove compartment. So I'm happy to be home. Got lots of work to do. And um, for now, I'll just show you guys some footage that me and Bob took uh, while we were out just having fun in the woods, um, cooking some steaks, uh, watched a couple of kayakers. Um, liked it so much that we're gonna go kayaking ourselves tomorrow. I'm not gonna film it. I'm just gonna take a break from all this editing I've been doing since we got back and just have some fun and not worry about filming. So I'll just show you guys that right now. We caught a couple of Pacific uh, lampreys. Freaking amazing. And um, I think you guys will enjoy that. I wanna talk to you guys about something. It's been really important. All right, so as you guys know, I'll be going to Hawaii next month on the 24th to the 30th. I've already booked three fish room tours and uh, some of you guys may know them. Uh, one is HC Aqua. Um, he's out in o Oahu and um, 
I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. But he has mud skippers and all that cool stuff. The, the other one is Mr. Brown's Goldfishes. I'm gonna have the links down below so you guys can check them out. But if you guys are in Hawaii, and you guys want me to do a fish room tour of your room, now's the time to speak up. So maybe we could just hang out. It doesn't have to be a fish room tour, but I'm excited anyways. So let's get to work. Here comes Meryl Street and Kevin Bacon. All right, so I'm gonna try to get some eels. So the, the trick is to just stomp on the floor till they come up and uh, we'll see what we can get. I need to come on that side though. So I stomp. We'll both stomp. Right here. You got one. Here's another one. Well, I don't want to lose this one. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. one. All right, let's go check this out. We well, got one. Check it out. Hold on. That is a legit eel right there. All right, so we're gonna go capture these uh these kayak people all right here. Let's try to take some pictures of them, and I'll show you guys right now. This is how you hunt for eels. Step and look behind you. There's one. <laughs> no. You know good as I am. He used a cup. Whew. That water's way too cold. That's why I go over here in the sun. You know, deep right there. Look at this guy. <laughs> Talk about your YouTube channel, Bob. <laughs> Aquatics, man. Aquatics. <laughs> you can't be afraid of the water. I'm pretty sure I got my wallet wet. <laughs> While I'm out here, I just want to thank Aquapros for having us over at its place. I uh, want to thank Corey and Corvus for taking me along with them and uh, filming this three-part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's super over edited. I hope you guys really like that stuff and I hope to do more of it. So until next time, steaks. road trip. We ate a lot of good food though. Well, what was, we? the, what was the best thing? In-N-Out Burger? In-N-Out Burger. Cha-ching! Uh, yeah. First time. <laughs> the internet's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> that was my first time. It was, it was really good though. And I uh, can't wait for the next road trip, which should be, you're going to Peru. Yeah. All right guys, see you later. Bye-bye.